quick. Yeah. Well, having in mind that I don't get a countdown again. Um, Three, two, one, <laughs> go. <laughs> uh, welcome, everybody. This is the committee outreach subcommittee of the Northampton Police and Review Commission. Today, uh, it's February 18, 2021. This meeting is going to run from 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. It's being recorded on Zoom. Um, we're the, uh, called to order. Noah, can you lead us on that? Yeah. Dan? Yes. Javier. Yes. And Chris. Present. Oh, and Carol is not yet here. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Um, everybody was able to take a look to the minutes that Noah sent today. Yep. Perfect. I almost so... sent y'all three, but I didn't quite make it. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. So let's go for approval of the minutes. Um, a motion for appro to approve the minutes. Second. Excellent. Noah, can you? Uh, Javier. Yes. Dan. Yes. Chris. Yes. Thank you. Um, perfect. So, um, let me, I'm opening the, the agenda for today. So that, so, so the first one is, uh, Testimony update, check functionality, online and hard copy. Um, so far, who has the, who has, who is aware and who has access to the, to the document? Meaning who has the link? Uh, you mean the link to the city website? Specifically or... to, to be able to do the online version of the. Um, so basically anyone who goes like looking for the Northampton, <clears throat> sorry, the Northampton Police Review Commission. That's like the name of the page. So if they search for it um, in most search engines, it'll be indexed um, and come up. Um, but anyone that we send it out to as well, like we just have it up right now. It hasn't gone. Okay. Out. Um, so the commission, or sorry, this subcommittee is aware of it. Noah, did you reach out to the whole commission too? Yeah. Trying to remember. Um, I don't think so. So we can, at least I don't remember, but I also, <laughs> my inbox is a mess right now. Oh, okay. I know, I know. I know. Um, but if not, we can do that after the, after this meeting and send that out so that everyone's got that link. And they can yeah. It. Yeah. No, the email that you sent was to, to the subcommittee. Okay. Which is it's fine. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna take note of that. So let's try to figure that out. Who who should have the link? Who should be aware? I mean, everybody, obviously, everybody in the weather committee. But but in our in our sort of limited capacity, can we go through a list of of organizations, people that we know we have to send them that we can have in a radar to send it. Yeah. Um, so I think the groups that we reached out to earlier mm -hmm. um, to get their input on it. <clears throat> so the, um, oh, what is it now? Uh, Wildflower Alliance, um, the HRH413, um, mm -hmm. you, uh, there were so many, I can go look for. Yeah, the activists. The, uh, yeah, so Northampton Abolition Now. Um, there was a, we've done, I think, I think Carol was reaching out to safe passage, um, yeah. and to maybe tapestry or one of the, the mm -hmm. sexual health groups. Um, yeah. I had reached out to the Markham Nathan fund, um, you know, cause they do those ground groups. Yeah. Um, um what about, uh, Hampshire Hope? Was Hampshire one of those as well? Yeah, yeah we just send it to them to Yeah. Uh, and then trying to think of what were the other um, the Markham Nathan group gave gave our information out to basically all of their all of the or all of the groups that they all of the groups that they give grants to. Um so that's pretty awesome. Uh so we can ask them to to forward that along as well. Perfect. 
Um, and that was like groups like the Trans Asylum Network and and some others. <laughs> yeah, there are there are two there are two groups working with transgender folks um, in Western Mass. So the Trans Asylum is one, and there is another that I can't get in touch with. Uh, there is one in Hollywood. Um, cool. Okay, I'm taking note all of the groups. I'm trying to remember, but I I'd reached out to more, but then I don't think some some of them just didn't respond. Mm -hmm. Um, which is fine. They're getting a cold email from <laughs> from a random Gmail address. I get it. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> I can at least try um to get them out again, and maybe they'll. And and you know, and all these all these groups are gonna have their own opinion on who should get notice of this. So that would be good for us to keep checking with them. Mm -hmm. Um so all these groups plus elected officials, city council and the entire commission. I think it's a good good starting point for for this, right? Um <clears throat> mm -hmm. Cool. Um, and if if you guys think about another group, just um, shoot an email. Shoot me an email. I'm trying to think how we can keep track of who we're getting in touch with. So I know, for example, if I if I when when Nick gets this, she's he's gonna get in touch with a specific groups, mm -hmm. and that's for other all members of the commission. So. Would, do you think that would be good to, to people to let us add, I did outreach to this one and this one or yeah I mean maybe just a spreadsheet um, yeah it does get a little tricky so it might be Noah we might ask you to just put in like uh, like if I I'll create like a little form um, but if you fill it out so we have a spreadsheet of who did what uh, just because it gets complicated when it comes to who's editing that and who's putting in and Yep. open meeting law is i'm always wary of like what <laughs> what constitutes information especially if we're not saying like this is you know here's a here's a journal article and it's up for discussion or if it becomes here's a task and then it's distributed throughout the commission um yeah or or we can just one of the things that we can do we can send an email stating that uh, well, like two minutes three minutes of the, each meeting where we can we can ask people to raise their hand and say who they did our outreach to and during that meeting we can just write because that that would literally fulfill anything related to open law meeting so <laughs> let's, do, let's do something so uh, if we're gonna keep having reporting back from subcommittees I can use that portion of it to do the the outreach update. Yeah, we should have. Yeah, we should have. I think it's like we'd reduce the time because no one's been using like the full time um, to just free up more for like the actual conversation that we need to have. Yeah. <laughs> um, like around what what this new community uh, community care department is going to be because that that affects a lot of other recommendations. Yeah. Uh, but to, for for purposes of keeping track, I think it would be good to just to take two minutes of the meeting to just to see who got in touch with who, and we don't have to do it in any other way. Yeah. Cool. Uh, then have you gotten any? Uh, let's go to point number two. Have you gotten anything in relation to the to the media stuff? No, I'll I'll, I'll reach out again. Um... And I know we can at least, um, so Greta Jockum from the Gazette has already um, already put out like that the, our next um, our next meeting, but they've been pretty interested in sort of generating responses so we could put something out in the Gazette. Okay. Um, or I can reach out to her and see if she, she wants to run anything I mean, about that, it. That, that, would be, that would be good. And also, um, yeah, I mean... Do you think that we can, because I know that if we if we go to like Bob Flaherty with his radio show in early morning, he would 
do it? Do you think that's something that we can just do or we still would need to go through City I Hall? I don't think we need to go through City Hall. If it, like if we're not paying for an advertisement, I don't think we need that at all. I think that qual this, that would qualify as a PSA, yeah? I mean, PSAs are, are free and don't cost anything. Yeah. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. So, okay, so I'm going to... Hold on, I'm going to get in touch with people in the radio in radio to see that uh, just a reminder um do you think that i mean the, the one of the main problems is that um we northampton doesn't have anything that is not in english okay. and that that makes things a little more complicated when doing outreach to um to other communities all the demographics so um i mean i would be willing to translate something to spanish so we can post it in spanish can you, it would be possible for you then to ask if we come out with something that we want to put on the commission's website as a message in spanish if we can just do it with me doing the translation or the cd for functioning purposes would need to do their own translation because it's their website. Yeah, I mean, I can, I mean, ask, I don't think they would have any problem with just having, you know, if we do another form, do you think about like a form or a statement or? Um, you know, I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing the, the outreach then document the community, right? And probably what I'm going to be doing with them is just filling out, trying to fill out the online form and okay. just trans translating all the answers, right? I'm talking about people that is not on a radar. Yeah. And, and, and that would be people possibly in Spanish, Khmer, or any other, you know, language. I mean, I'd say Spanish because, you know, that's the only thing that I can translate to. Yeah. <laughs> I could I can translate some of this to Italian, but I'm not going to help that much. Um, yeah, I think I can ask them if they have like a preference for um, or if they have any requirements for translations. Okay. Um, given the response that they had before, where they're like, we just have someone that's in the that's in City Hall translate it. I don't think we're going to need that. <laughs> I don't think yeah. they have. You know. That, that that speaks to a different systemic problem, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's just... <laughs> that's its own... That's a, a whole separate fight. <laughs> yes. That's, that's a different revolution. Um, cool. So they made the hour. So... Um, so... I think we're sailing on this meeting <laughs> because we didn't have anybody pull a comment. Like it's really concrete what we're doing right now. Yeah. Um, what we'll also do, I'll ask the, or, um, I'll go with Noah. We'll ask the city to put up the, the link on the Northampton, uh, um, Facebook, it's like their social media too. Um, just to try and get people and, um, thinking about groups like um, the Western Mass, uh, was it BIPOC um, Advisory Council? Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, but like to get them to share it because they have so many connections with people who are unhoused. Yeah, um, I, I can get in well. touch with them. Yeah. Um, and I think they're also doing work with Forbes Library, which is another, again, another place to be in, in touch with um, yep. with folks who are unhoused um, just because the library did so much before, although they're also not open. So <laughs> that's its own thing. Um, International Language Institute and Center for the Americans, which are, oh. I don't know if you know, but those are the two organizations in town giving ESL classes uh, to immigrants and refugees. So that's... I'm going to get in touch with them too, CNA and ILI. Cool. Cool. Um, so, 
Um, Noah, can you share the screen? I mean, oh, I, I can do it, but I don't want to be judged by the amount of tabs that I have open, <laughs> uh, which is massive. Hold on. Let me close them. One you just, one. Uh, I mean, if you want to hide your shame like I do, you just leave one tab. Just pull one tab out and then share just that tab. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to share your whole desktop, which yes. your mom would like partially finished everything. <laughs> Let's see. Ah, uh, oh, there we are. Okay. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Um, let's go to the drive. Last time I shared my screen, it, you could see all of my like folders on the side. I was like, <laughs> never again. Yeah. Now um, I have a desktop folder. I've learned my lesson. <laughs> cool. So I'm gonna I'm gonna share. Um, no, can I share? Yes. Um, so this is this is the so this is the final document as as we know it. Um, and this is where we left it before, and this is what we added to the hard copy, right? And it says optional in many 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 places because we want to be really intentional about it and at the end has the has the link so that link that should say NPRC yeah. testimonials m-o-n-i-a-l so we just need an o-n i yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. But then we also want to edit that uh, that mail to link. It's the same. Yep, it should be the same. Oh, there you are. Uh, well, so the the link is uh, wrong. There we go. There you are. Cool. So um, so at the end we have a page in a half of this. So it's gonna be so back back and one more page. Um. I mean, I have to say that I think we we have a pretty good document. Um, I'm still thinking. So, Dan, uh, can you can you go a little deeper in the how the amount of uh, the size of the file that people can upload and the capacity that we have? Uh, so it's set right now so that the maximum is a ten gigabyte file. Mm -hmm. Uh, they can submit up to five uh, mm. them. I've, or sorry, they can submit up to five fi files that total 10 gigabytes per submission. Um, I just upgraded the account to um, 100 gigs. If we go over that, we can increase that. But we can also, once we start getting submissions, move them from the NPRC testimonials to the city's uh, shared drive where that file restriction will be limited. So once we got it copied over and we're secure, then we can remove the the file from the original submission and free up that space if we got those. I don't think that we will, but I wanted to leave it like if we got a flood of, of submissions, I still want people to be able to submit stuff <laughs> and not encounter any errors. Well, the submissions in the form of just the, the filled out questionnaire, yeah. No, uh, so this is uh, if they attach files. Oh, okay, okay. So, like, right. if they wanted to record themselves with like a video file or a text file, if, it, if it's just the text file, like the the submissions that you know, be, yeah, a couple of head. Yeah, that, that that's a trivial amount. But once you start getting into file submissions, especially if people are just recording on their phones and it's not like a media production software, like those can get pretty pretty big pretty fast. Yeah. Ooh, Javier, you're muted. Even the audio files can get pretty heavy. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so we have a list of people that um, can, um, that we have for to do the outreach. Uh, other commissioners like Alex, Michael, and people like Nick and others, they will set up distributed among the networks, we're going to be asking the city to put it in their social media too. Mm 
um, so as much as we can to get this document around. Uh, cool. Um, let me, I'm trying to poorly multitask here. So the community outreach document uh, is gonna go out today at, to the um, to the full commission. Yep. And we're gonna try, then wh when is the next full commission meeting? Uh, it's Tuesday. Say it again? Tuesday, so Tuesday, uh, so 6 to 8 p.m. Um, is when we'll start, sorry, sorry, we'll start at six, go to eight. Okay, perfect. So um, so hopefully by to, by the end of the day tomorrow, everybody in the commission and all the elected officials are gonna have this. Yep. And we want we want to be really intentional sort of spreading the survey. Um, and I think it's gonna be vital for us to be able to to make sure that um, any kind of organization, anybody has access to it. Um, let's see. Um, is there anything, so I'm in number four of the agenda. Is there anything in strategies to deploy the outreach document <clears throat> that comes to mind? Is there anything that we haven't talked about? Chris? The, the only thing uh, that had occurred to me uh, just prior to you bringing it up earlier was uh, different languages. Um, uh, I'm, I'm not sure how, or, or I guess I guess this, it would be up to the city at this point, or if we were to use, uh, since we are using their website, um, or brand, at least at the very least branched off of it, um, if they could, uh, I don't know, translate it into a couple of other languages for us. I, I'm not sure how that, that works. Yeah, I know they said they have like a, an AI translation option, yep. but I don't know how, like, I don't know how that works or if you have to like, if it's like a site level option for people or if it's individual, um, those are good, but it's also, <laughs> it could be problematic. Yeah. Um, in terms of like the accuracy, generally, you know, like anything, it, it's better if a human can do it. Um, would, would, would have you be able then to send a copy of the hard, uh, the, uh, um, the hard copy version to whoever we need to send it in City Hall to see if there would be the option for them to translate it? Yeah, I can, I can send that and ask. Yeah, because uh, we can ask, but they can probably they are not going to be able to say yes or no if they don't see how lengthy or not a document is. Yep. Cool. I think that that's hopefully we can have an answer well, by next week, hopefully, uh, because I, I, I agree with you, Chris, that sort of one of the down things right now is that the document is not uh, translated. And that's something that we really want to do. Um, cool. Is there any other outreach um, uh, a strategy or anything that you guys want to? Um, the only other thing that I would imagine will happen when we share this with the city councilors is that they'll also share this with like their listservs for their wards. Yeah. Um, you know, so we'll, we'll get that back as well. Yeah. Um, that's yeah. Excellent, and I'm, I'm and I'm pretty sure during the bigger meeting, uh, people are gonna come with ideas. And me, in the meantime, we're having the meeting. I can take a look to. We can tell them to add any organization that they comes to mind into the chat, and I can just keep track of it, and write it down so we can sort of expand it. Cool. Um, I mean that's that's the entire agenda. To be honest, I mean, it, 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 as, as we talked before, uh, we need to deploy this. And yeah. the next time that we're going to be using the full time is going to be when we get all the data that we're looking for and we have to start working on that. That's going to be sort of heavy handed on us. Um, cool. So I, as a question, what do we do if, we, if we're done with the agenda way ahead of time? 
We just end early. Okay. Uh, how many... I I like uh, Noah's smile after that phrase. <laughs> um, cool. Okay, so we have a plan. I'm gonna send uh, follow up notes to everybody about the organization that I took note. Uh, and no, you you have access to the to the hard copy that is still in the drive, right? Yes. Okay. Can you send that to to everybody in the commission? Yeah. And yeah, perfect. And I can send that off, and I don't have to go dig for it. So. I will take the lazy option and wait until I get my inbox and then send it out. <laughs> Excellent. So no, as soon as you send it and you get the lazy uh, automatic email uh, uh, answer that Dan has set up, uh, <laughs> you can, you know. Anyway, uh, I'm looking for a motion to adjourn. I will. I will motion to adjourn. Yes. So Chris, uh, second it. Yeah. Noah. Uh, Javier? Yes. Dan? Yes. And Chris? Yes. Cool. Oh, thank, thank you so you much, guys. <laughs> thank you. Have a good night, guys. Have, Have a good morning, everybody.